All right, now we're going to talk about how to edit different sections of the one page checkout. So we'll go ahead and go to the front of the store here, which is right here, and you'll probably notice we're logged into the store as the admin. And when you're logged in as the admin, the software recognizes it and shows you a bunch of extra options. One of them you probably already know is the quick edit toolbar right here, which has, you know, quick information about the page that you're on. It's context sensitive. The other one is the pencils. Let's go back here right here these actually tell you where you're able to put insert HTML in through articles so let's go ahead and hit view card and check out the shopping cart page and here we go here you see the pencils here down here there's one underneath the cart and for the proceeded checkout areas and for the returning customers these are actually areas that you can edit through the article section just click on them and you'll take you right to that article Let's go ahead and click on proceed to checkout and check out the next section. And we'll see the information here. And we see the pencil. We have a pencil for right above the section, one for the registration section, one that goes right above the choose your shipping method section, one that goes to the right of the payment information, and we have one that goes underneath the entire section. So let's go ahead and just play with one of these real quick. I'm just going to play with the top one here. This is cool. Actually, let's go ahead and play with the new Easy Editor, this new content man, or the uh, new WYSIWYG editor that we have for version 4.0. Works in Firefox, which I'm so glad, and it displays much cleaner styles. Copy that, scroll down, click Save Changes. And now when we take a look at here and refresh, yeah, this is cool right here. So this is how you can add sections to the shopping cart. And when you're in the admin section and you have forced optional on, it won't show you the email section if you're already logged in. But there's also a section for the email that you're able to change that's displayed right next to where the email is. I'll show you where that looks like right here. So right here... It, there's another article that can control this section, but since you're, if you're logged in as the admin, you won't be able to see the pencil around it because this whole entire registration section does not show up when you're logged in. And that's really all and there that's is. And that's really the all there is to the one page check.